Hey, so I just wanted to get on and tell you about some honey that I made uh, about two weeks ago. I made it for my sister-in-law who's coming home from the Carolinas for a while over the holidays and we're going to see her. I had just gotten a bucket of raw honey, a five gallon bucket, and I was breaking it down into quart jars to put on the pantry shelf. And I kept out a jar so that I could make this and um, I thought I'd just tell you what I did and how it turned out. So I took my honey. Um, I had been keeping this by the wood stove to make it uh, more liquidy. So I'm just going to pour some honey in my jar. I took, I didn't even measure. Honestly, I didn't measure anything. I just took a whole bunch of green cardamom pods, like, I don't know, two handfuls. Um, dropped them in my honey. Now, these little boogers are expensive. Um... I don't know where you are, but around here, they are very costly. And But I found this place in Winchester called Food Max, and I think that it's like a chain. So I think there's multiples of them all around. But it's kind of like an international grocery store, and they've got some amazing prices. I got this whole jar. It was in a package, obviously, but I got this whole jar full of green cardamom pods for under $4 there. So it was just about two handfuls of cardamom pods that I put into my jar of honey. I'm going to add, now the last time, when I made it the first time, the only thing I put in there was cardamom pods and some fresh grated ginger. But this time I'm going to try just a couple of extra little things. So I've got some whole allspice here. I don't know, just like a handful maybe, like a small handful. I'm going to drop those in there. I'm also going to add some whole cloves, just a handful. I couldn't find my cinnamon sticks, so I'm going to use these um, cinnamon chips. Just, you know, again, nice little handful. Drop them in there. And I've got this grated ginger, fresh ginger. I don't know, you probably could just put chunks in it. But I'm going to drop that in there. And then, and then is all I did was stir it. Now, like I said, I added a few extras this time to give it a little more zing. Um, I'm going to get ready and try the one that I made last time in a second. But I'm just stirring it all up in here. Ooey and gooey. And it smells amazing. I'm going to put my lid on it. And that's it. I'm going to sit this on top of the refrigerator and allow it to ferment for about two weeks. That's what I did with the one that I just strained today. So I just, it was honey, cardamom pods, grated ginger, allspice, cinnamon, and cloves. Just add that to your honey, stir it up, put a lid on it, and put it someplace warm. I don't know that it matters if it's dark. I just keep mine on top of the refrigerator. Leave it sit there for about two weeks until it ferments and the, the flavors really meld into the honey really well. So I'm going to try this. Um, I did, when it was done fermenting, I strained it through a strainer. And I left it sit by the wood stove again so that it got... You know, it wasn't so thick, and it strained through really well. Um, but I've got a cup of hot tea. I'm going to add it to my tea. But i got to try a spoonful. Maybe not a full spoon, but i got to try it. You can definitely taste the cardamom. It's not overbearing at all. I think that the addition of the other three spices is going to just really ramp it up a little bit more, um, give it a little more flavor. But for the most part, I really like it. I think it's um, it's going to be nice just to have on the counter if I want a cup of hot tea and I don't feel like pulling out all the chai um, makings. I can just make my tea and add a teaspoon of the honey. So I really suggest you give it a try. It was It's pretty good, pretty simple. Makes a great gift if you're looking for something for someone. So that's it. I'm going to go have a cup of tea.